this is how you can use string resources in Android at any place, even in your view models. For that, we simply define a sealed class UI text, and in here, we will put two different classes. On the one hand, a dynamic string class, which is just used if we want to display a dynamic string. For example, one that comes from an API error message where we don't have a string resource. Then the other type of UI text we have here is a string resource, which takes in an ID and optional arguments. So you can then use this UI text class in your view model, for example, and simply include the idea of your string resource there without actually needing the context to unwrap it. If you then have this class in your UI, you can use this function to actually unwrap the value of it. If it's a dynamic string, you simply return its value. And if it's a string resource, you use the context you pass in the UI to get the actual value from your resources. You can also create a corresponding composable function so you don't need to pass the context. And then if you use this in your UI, it would look somehow like this. For example, to display an error message, you simply pass your U error UI text and you say error.s string. If you like these Android and Kotlin tips, then follow for more.